Okay, so you're ready to do a stock take. With the Premier EPOS system, it's an exceptionally easy to actually perform this task. Not only that, with the Premier EPOS system, you can also continue to trade while you're doing the actual stock take. And as a bonus, you're also updating the data live on the system. So it really does make a difference to a daunting stock take to a nice easy stock take that you can casually do throughout the day. So this is how you do it. We start by going into the stock tab and then we go into stock manager. Okay, so there's basically three things that we need to do to complete the stock tape. The first thing is that we record how many quantities are for each product. So in other words, we're recording the products as they are now with their quantities as they are now. That's very important for statistics, uh, which I'll explain in a minute. Second, once you've done that, we then reset all the quantities to zero. By doing this, we ensure that there'll be no missed numbers, basically. Everything will be zero. And the third part is your favorite part, and that is counting the products and then putting the quantities back in for your count. After those three stages, you simply complete the stock take, and then you will have before and after figures where you can compare and see if products have been disappearing, basically, or if you've got more products than you thought. So this is how it's done. First off, we look for the products that we wish to uh, perform the stock take on. You can do it a bay at a time or you can do the entire store. I'm going to go with the entire store. So literally I can search all of the products just to show you that these all have their various quantities still intact. So what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to go now to our stock taking section which is, as you can see, there's lots of tabs here, all sorts, but we want this one, stock checking. Once we're in here, we're starting a new stock check. So we click that button and then you can give it a name and like the little comment says at the top, it can be a, an aisle. In my case, I'm gonna do the store. And then press enter or accept and there you go. So now I've got the date recorded when I started the stock take. I have a description, which is the entire store, and it was me that started it, so everyone knows if it's gone wrong who they can come and shout at. So that's all very good. Next, we do add all products in my case, like so. And that will take a snapshot of all the products, and it will have the quantities as they stand at the moment. So now we've got a snapshot of all our quantities. The next step we want to do is reset all those quantities to zero. And you will find this in special tasks, predefined commands, quantities, and that set quantities equal to zero. And that will literally, if we do that, it's actually asking now, it's saying, do you want to use selected products only or do you want to use all products within the system? I'm going to do the entire system. Obviously, if you were doing it bay by bay, you would have X amounts of products selected in the stock section tab, which is just here. And then when you were in here, you would just simply do selected only and it would just do the bay that you're concentrating on. But for this demonstration, we are going to do the whole store. So now I can do commit. Are you sure you wish to apply this operation to all product services? And yes. So now obviously it's going to work for those. Now that is going to take a few seconds. So we are going to time lapse and then I shall be right back. Okay, so now that's completed. All our quantities are now set to zero. At this point, it's a simple matter of counting your products and putting the new quantities back in. And obviously the PDA system will save you a heck of a lot of time. Um, so it's well worth investigating. Anyway, back to this now. If you are using a back office or the EPOS system, then the task of putting the quantities in 
is as simple as just putting the quantities in. There's nothing to it. So if we go back to da, 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 stock, there we go. Uh, and once we're in stock, you'll see, as we've already said, all the quantities are zero. So there's nothing to it. You would literally, if you've counted speedy salads and you've got 15 of them, you put 15 in. And so it goes on. Uh, like I said earlier, it's a live system, so people can trade while you're doing it. Um, the way that works is very simple, really. If that's at zero, and they purchase, and a customer purchases something, that will become minus one. Now, obviously, what happens there is, if you've counted the products then minus one plus the products will be one less and obviously because a customer has taken that item um, from your count so to speak that will correct itself so if we had 20 products and the customer took one and bought it this would go to minus one you would go in and, and add 20 20 minus one is 19 not minus 19 of course just testing there you go so it's all nice and easy obviously the bonus there i had to do the maths in my head not that it's difficult um however if you were to use the tablet again this will simply add the quantity onto the product automatically for you so you would type in 20 and then that would take care of the rest for you uh, and that is basically what you're going to do there until you've counted all your stock now once you've counted all your stock and you have updated all your quantities you're then going to complete the actual stock checking. So if we go back to our stock checking tab, there we have it. And then we can now click on complete stock take and jobs are good. So you can see now these were the figures we had before. And these are the figures we've got now. Obviously I only changed two of them. So therefore that's the only two there. <clears throat> now that we actually have this information to hand, we can do statistics and then we can literally run any of these um, options against the numbers and it will tell us if we've got too many products compared to what we used to have, if we've got less than we used to have or if we've still got the same. In an ideal world, they'll all match up, but uh, in a real world, you'll probably find there's products missing or you'll have excess products in other fields. Uh, however, they're pretty uh, useful statistics to know. You, it's very handy if you've got, um, if, if, if you appear to have less stock prior to your count, so that it looks as if stock's gone missing, then it's nice to know that you can locate it to a bay, etc. And you know that's a blind spot and maybe there are things being taken out of your store without your knowing. Um, that's just one of many scenarios. Uh, but that comes in very useful. Obviously, now you've actually got your data as well. If you was to require any more tailored reports, um, then obviously we have the custom reports, which if you've seen the videos, you'll get the gist of what they are. Uh, just to recap, basically a custom report is a report that is written specifically for yourself to perform a task that you require and that is basically a custom report so that's about it i think that's your stock check and um, yeah have a great day and goodbye now